What do you know that I don't know? <laughs> I'm in a referee shirt. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Oh. 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 <laughs> Welcome to uh, UIW Nutshot. Here we have correct. Mel Mall. In the commentating booth today, uh, Justin Cole, alongside my colleague, Ryan Stryker. How you doing? Take it away, Mel. Hello, you uh, W fans. This is Mel the Tiger Mall. If you recall. Now, last week I was attacked by Stephen Harder. Son of a bitch. And I just want that guy to know that uh, I thought I thought we were uh, allies. I thought we were partners. Mel, Mel. Uh, and if if you wanna if if you wanna start something, then I'm gonna I'm gonna take it to you like you. Well, okay, I won't mention his name. Anyway, uh, Fair enough. so I'm you know I'm gonna make I'm gonna shake shit loose. It's gonna be falling out the caboose. You're gonna be singing the blues about all your bruises, and uh, you know, I, 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 I've, uh, I think I've made myself strong clear. words by Mel Mall. He has indeed. Made uh, clear. Transparent, even. So I, I guess I'm ready to. Uh, hey, what, what what, what's going on? That's the Seminole Warrior. I'm, I'm cutting a promo. Seminole, that well, is the Seminole Warrior. Wow. Uh, okay, tell me, tell me. Tell oh. me. shot at Justin Parsley at the beginning. That's uh, you love to see that. And the you match will. is you'll, you'll underway that. already with uh, um, Seminole Warrior coming back, attacking Mel Mall. With his Nexus shoes. <laughs> Watch the stiffness. <laughs> the I mean your erection. Ryan Cordero says a referee. <laughs> and he is by far the worst ref <laughs> in UIW. I don't, think he, I don't think he's familiar with the sleeper hold. Uh, or what there. to do when one happens. Uh, who knows? I didn't talk to him. I don't know where the uh, Seminole Warrior disappeared to for months. Abdomen of Mel Thank Mall. William Gacy growing. fired him. He's coming Into back to house. revenge on all That's the UIW roster. Thought. Seminole Warrior doesn't, he, nothing's off limits for this sick son of a bitch. That is very true. Ooh. He's a fan of the Red Sox. Fan what of the Red Sox, and he's also cut from the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, practice to the team. Head. Which is why he's with that color. One, two. His wrestling skills are really good. Yeah, exactly. So we he might be able to take down some of them. Next is the side job. Yes. Minus Only they have voiceovers for him. Yeah, minus the cool tattoos and I think uh, some of the warriors' near, uh, ah. nipples are properly set apart, unlike Husky Harris. Mm -hmm. yeah, the way Trevor fought a few weeks ago, I think yeah. their okay. skills and yeah. chemistry might work really well together. Mel Mall getting dragged around. Tom McVay's talking. I don't know what she's talking about. Oh. Oh. Seminole Warrior taking it to Mel Mall. Really just dissecting him piece by piece, limb by limb. And it looks like he's going to snap on That's his variation of the figure what? four leg lock. Very and also twist version. the yep. ankle as well. <laughs> figure four leg lock. And ankle lock. If I may say so myself, um, I don't think that anyone can do the figure four leg lock quite as well as Justin Parsley. AKA Justin Parsley. <laughs> and or Ric Flair. Now what is, mm -hmm. what is Mel Mall doing here? Is this a Mel Mall is modified version of an STF? Back yeah, for another tap out move to the Simon Warrior. Mel Mall starting to take control of you. <laughs> and nope. Quite tough Trevor. Oh, Mel Mall! Oh, Mel god. Mall picking up oh my Luke. god! Seminole uh, Warrior and yeah. smashing him on Chris the ground. Styles joining us for just a moment. <laughs> In spirit, of course. I gotta go. Don't mind that dog crying. Oh, what a suplex on the hard ground, I guess. That ground is very hard. It hasn't rained 
in Indiana in about a year and a half, I would say. And no ball climbing the fence, then climbing the fence. Back in. <laughs> I talked to Ryan Corderas after Dude. this match, uh -huh. and he said that this was a very stiff matchup. These these two men were not going wide on each other. They're both resilient young men, just trying to obtain some kind of status here in the UIW. That is very true. Mel Mall's trying to make his way to at least a legacy title run. <laughs> As you know, he was semi-screwed out of the world championship. At least the fans feel that way. Shane Hunter, uh, fuck you. But... Watch the fish. I'll DQ you next kick time. Kick to the ass. <laughs> One more kick to the ass. I'm sick of Sooner Warrior carefully putting Mel Mall in the position for a vertical <laughs> suplex of sorts. Looks like he almost got the worst into that deal. Yeah. No doubt about that. You know? He is a very big fan. Oh, no. oh. Splash. No, that's Continue, you were saying. <laughs> well, I was going to say is that he uh, Make your mind. he's wearing matching Florida State University apparel. Absolutely. It does not go there. One, two. He likes to spread his presence, let it be known. He's a Red Sox. He's a Red Sox fan. Oh, piece of shit. That's right. To some. To other guy, the other. To others. Yes. And a spear. Oh. Than uh, anyone edges no, I'm all on getting him. better and better and every then show. He takes out the referee almost. That was intense. <laughs> Close. Mel uh, stalking his prey right now. Nope, never mind. Oh. Peanuts? No, we have one. Oh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I've seen it before, I just don't remember it. Rolling Thunder. Very kind, sir. Two for a dollar. That's how I bought him. Two for a dollar? Damn skippy. Which one should go in the bank? I'll take one there. Some of the warrior lining him up for a, a, quick maybe a spear. Yes, oh. he does hit the spear. Good, Good job. It's like we've seen this before. Had to read the commentary. Two. Well, I know he idolizes um, Bill Goldberg mm. and bases his move set a lot off of Goldberg. And there's his ass crack. Much like Bill Goldberg. Oh. <laughs> Hard amateur takedown. Choking Bell him Mall. as he makes the pin. What? Referee doesn't care about the choke. Ah, Mel Mall has uh, one victory using that move against a handicapped, blind and deaf opponent. Yeah, I'm, surpri I'm surprised they let uh, that person <laughs> wrestle but into the chain link ropes. Rope oh. and <laughs> kick to kick to the heart. <laughs> Sizing him up for a splash. <laughs> Makes a cover. One, two, that was the tiger two, pounce. Two count. Three. Uh, and the tiger pounce. Was it? <laughs> As noted by Zoe McVeigh. Good that, call. What? Was that the three? Who won? Who won? Oh, that's Ryan Harris. Yeah. I mean, Ryan Harris. Right what? Oh, what? I get that thing. Steven Harder out of nowhere. <laughs> the referee does not like that at all. He calls for the bell. There's what a disqualification. What was that? <laughs> Match will be awarded to Mel the Tiger Mall. Who is You, Warrior, not making a very big impact on his re debut. Kick to the gut. A stunner to Steven oh, Harder. A wow. seminal stunner. stunner. Seminal makes it known that he won't be taking that shit. I don't need no fucking help. <laughs> Strong word. He could have taken out Mel Mall by himself, is what he That's said. As he feels. And he just kicks Steven Harder's hat. Which is a no no. Or a potential. Back for more action here, UIW style. Who's up in this match, do you know? For this match, we are going to have uh, Stephen Harder and this man, Justin Dilligat Parsley, my favorite wrestler. I don't know how you feel. Is this for the, uh, well, it'll be explained. Body commentary. Alright, cut that, cut the music. 
with Justin Bill, we got speed. All right, last week, it's um, it's obvious, it's obvious what happened last week. I challenged Stephen Harder for uh, who had the most losses within UIW, and I added another one to my my column. Now, um, Stephen, you have to understand. You have to you have to try to comprehend the fact, and I know it's hard for you to grasp your brain around um, anything. But you have to try to comprehend the fact that uh, Ryan Harris has my legacy championship, something that belongs to me, something I sleep with at night. Uh, it, I, I treat it like a child. Um, well, Ryan Harris is out partying and, and pouring champagne and whiskey all over it. You know, I was I was curled up next to it uh, in bed by nine o'clock in the evening. So, what I want to do right now is is fight for something. Not for, for a win-loss column, not for any of that bullshit. Because we already know that I'm better than you, Stephen Harder. No, Stephen Harder, this time I want you to come out here. And I want to challenge you one-on-one. -on -one, and I want the winner of that match to fight Ryan Harris next week for the Legacy Championship. Do you accept? Do you have what it takes? Do you have the audacity? Get out here and prove it. Okay, you were speaking of Ryan here. Oh, uh, yeah. My apologies. Um, he was saying that Ryan pours whiskey and champagne champagne all over the belt. I talked to him after this promo. He was a little confused because Ryan does not drink. Well, that would make sense as to why he would buy the whiskey just to pour it all over the belt. That is true. I, I was with him once. He poured Pepsi on it. And now... Okay, Ryan I, Harris I, I, not I, CM Harris. I have a feeling that there's going to be a couple gay jokes. I guess round yeah, okay. music technically. Yeah, your wait, music, your wait. music weaker than you. Believe Shit. it or not. Wait a second. So you say the legacy championship's like a child to you? Like a child. And you say you sleep with it? I sleep with it. God, I don't know who's worse. You, Tommy Man, Mary Man, or Chris Jones, like those little kids. Oh, you're right. You're right. On, on that challenge, wait, one I accept. Depends After I whip that. you, I'm going to take on Ryan Harris next week, and I'm going to get in the legacy championship. He's got to prove himself in this match right here. Ring the bell. He's, he's tough to beat. The man is very large. And it's true. also sometimes in charge. Just talking about how his abdomen hurts right there from when he was kicking the nuts earlier. <laughs> Knee to the gut. Right hand. Second right hand. Third right hand. Do anything to take Steven down. And a short clothesline. Short off the rope. Three. Oh! Wow. Rejection. Four on to the back. Knee to the back. <laughs> Very vicious kick there. You got a dog running around. Wait for what? Punch to the face. <laughs> I don't know what you call oh, that. The knee and shin and shit. <laughs> In the yard. Get back. Get back. Off the fence. Off the fence. Off the fence. Tell the referee to call him off. Great refing by referee Simona Webner. <laughs> Baseball. <laughs> Very vicious European uppercut. <laughs> well, doing as much effect as they can on Stephen Harder. It's hard to make any of that stuff matter, I think. I'll tell you what, Justin Parsley stepped up to a challenge in this match, going against Stephen Harder. I agree, I agree. A man that's three times, maybe four his size. I agree. And I think count, that was a three count. count. I was counting with Justin, I was counting with the ref, that was a three count. Screw job. Right there. Those miss like elbows to the throat, and then a headlock. Ask him! Do you give? Ask him! Do you give? Ask him, ref! Do you give? Justin thinks he has the match wrapped up. Oh. And the ref did, in oh. fact, ask him. Oh. Oh. Go to back suplex. Oh. Very well. I came down that left shoulder. He's been favoring that left shoulder for the past couple of weeks. What is this? He's picking him up like a rag doll. <laughs> Sweet belly button. Oh, what a power slam there. Very powerful. One, two, 
Two count. Two count. Seminole Heavener calls it. <laughs> Stay down! Taking a page out of Parsley's own book. He is pissed. <laughs> Random dark spot. Parsley's team. Say damn! <laughs> Stiff slap to the face, fight harder. <laughs> Parsley punching so hard he knocks himself down. <laughs> Drop Ooh. king! Nice! And that takes Steven off of his feet. That was very, very well executed. One! Two! Got it one! Two! No. Oh! How did he get out of that? I have not a clue. That's gimmick infringement. You stay down, you stupid, stupid man. Parsley told him to stay down, which I mean, that doesn't really make a lot of sense here because you remember this? Uh, Steven has no reason to stay down. He's been in control of this match. Taking a page out of Steven's book right there. I know you are. That's got to hurt. Not very much sound effects out of his mouth, though. <laughs> it's all force. That is true. Well, Parsley's making the best move here, picking him back up to his feet. What? Because then the is leverage he, is on Steven's is he side. Stupid? Oh. <laughs> Tries again. One more time. No. Third time. Why? <laughs> he cannot get Steven off of his feet. And a very oh. vertical suplex that's going to put Parsley out of commission that's for quite some be time. One, two, two, two count. Wow. My man two Parsley. Count. Is he running for governor? He should be. Yeah. One. Governor of my heart. He's got no. the charisma. Two. And he, is, and he is a Fiji. Three. Four. Nerd. <laughs> Doesn't even know the TV. Five. Smokes tobacco out of a pipe. In the <laughs> Gary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sweet. You marked out. I did. I mark out for In Gary <laughs> all the time. One. Two. What? Uh, two, oh, count. No. two count. Two count. No. Can someone tell me? Uh, can, can someone explain to me how he kicked out of that? Can you explain to me? I have no explanation. I've ne I've never seen a man kick out of that of an insecurity like that before in my Especially life. Especially was called that way, the way that I called it. Exactly. What's he I going for here? Ah! Oh, with an REM. That's gonna put harder out. It's got. He's got to. He's got he's got his number one contender spot right now for the Legacy Championship. Nope. We're gonna put him in a oh, in a kind of vice. Do you get? Oh. Oh. Do you get? Ah. Resting his head on the oh. take a look in the crowd and he notices. What the fuck are you doing there? here? Ryan Ryder. Harris. Harris. What is he doing? What's your fucking there? problem. Sit your ass down. <laughs> Shut back by Harris. Misses a forearm to the face. Oh. Harris. Oh. The abdomen. Did he too? Oh. The referee not doing a damn thing about it. Don't fuck with me, Parsley. He made it Strong words by Harris. Yo, finish him <laughs> off. Shades of uh, Seminole Warrior. Yeah, I bought my ticket. Seminole Hebner not doing a damn thing about One. it. One. Going back to his seat. Right Two. Harris, that is. Just chilling out. Three. Watching Next the rest. No of, checking Four. out the carnage that he partly created. Five. Six. Seven. We're gonna have to get up before ten, otherwise we're gonna have a number one. Eight. Parsley up first. He's looking at Harris. Harris is checking his phone. <laughs> Goes for another REM, and he's caught in midair. Oh, oh my God! Mindbuster. That shows the strength. One. One. Of Stephen two. Harder. Two. Barely a kick out. Two count. You're right. Stephen Harder is a strong, big motherfucker. Justin Parsley weighs 255 pounds. Justin Parsley? Yeah. No, he doesn't. Uh, dude. He, he weighs 155 pounds. Have you seen his physique? It's very doughy. Not true. Okay. Not true. Done. Not true. Thunder thighs will be main event. Oh. <laughs> One. One. Two. Two. The REM doesn't even keep Steven down. Has three rounds. That's two. How can you not count? I understand. That's 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 I understand. That's how that's 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 that's
Gacy. And you just storming off. He's, no he's pissed off. He's pissed off. He's yelling for Gacy. He wants a little bit of conversation, a little bit of explanation of what the fuck just happened out there. Oh, that just makes me sick to my. I hate. I hate the fact I work for this company sometimes. It just makes me sick to my fucking stomach. Welcome back. More action from the UIW universe. Videos say 300 hits. My bad, Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs, I'm sorry. Die Hard, Corey Lee. I'm 295. Die Hard, Corey Lee making his way to the ring. And his opponent tonight is going to be. My best friend, the essential one of my No, Chris Jones. What? Botch. What was that? to start off the match. They know each other so well. No, 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 and no, a no, oh! suplex. You would think that Rob Slater was uh, Corey Lee's cousin and not Justin Parsley. It is a... It, I, I would say, personally, if I was a wrestler, it's a little too soon to be going for a suplex and a Texas Cloverleaf. But you're not Rob Slater. Rob that Slater is, is tactical. He knows what he's doing. He's, a, he's an intelligent man. Uh, actually, he denied going to Harvard because he felt like he was too smart for the school. What? And, and now he does backyard wrestling. And he works for VTI, yeah. the factory, yes. But he's the, big, smartest, he's the smartest person at the factory. Big Titties Incorporated? BTI. Oh, I thought you said BTI. Venereal Titties Incorporated. That is correct. Okay. And slightly disgusting. Indeed. Oh. Thought he was going to outsmart him with the, the twist of... Or the oh. <laughs> twist of fate? No, the <laughs> test of strength, damn it. The twist of strength. Oh, another, another switch off. Another Texas Clover lead. I like it. Yeah, that's... Is that is a Texas Clover modified version. And he's putting more pressure on it by jumping up and down on Rob Slater's lower back. You see Rob Slater favoring the back. Well, one more Texas the ref is making it clear that if he sees one more Texas Cloverleaf, he will DQ both of them. Tell him, Ryan. It's about the time Rob Slater calls a timeout, but he can't get to an area, a safe area, a safe zone where he can actually <coughs> signal for the timeout that he wants and so needs. Yeah. Very nice oh. suplex. Oh. Must come down. Rob Slater proves it. He messed up his leg there. Yep, doesn't matter. Neither face. Oh. <laughs> Need to throw up Psychology, yo. Oh. <laughs> Look how tough I am. I can fuck up my knee and still use it as a weapon. Count. Ryan Cordero's not really seeing the shoulders. The kicks to the <laughs> he's, he's making the. the you know, I talked to him after this match, and he said he just didn't feel like running over there. <laughs> he trusted that his shoulders were down. He thought whenever he saw the legs kick out, uh, yeah, much yeah. as a seven year old child would, that that must mean a kick out. Yeah, I get oh. it. it. Looks like uh, the ref is telling him to connect more because he didn't connect hard enough. He's taking his time with Rob Slater. Toying with him. Maybe Rob Slater's toying with him. Perhaps. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Shades of every diva in history. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sure he's Stacey Keebler or something. Mm. Oh. What? Which, is also, which is my all-time favorite diva. Stacey Keebler. She has a great ass. 
Yep. And another diva. Diddy cheat of the way. <laughs> this guy takes his moveset from Mickey Trish James Stratus. and Trish Stratus. And Lita and all those that came before him. His, I oh wait, he's going Perry Saturn here. I talked to him before the match and he said his dream is to become the uh, longest reigning Divas champion. How about that? He's got a straight edge stretch. Nope. Rob Slater counters. I thought I, I counted three. Ryan Corderas needs to learn how to do his damn job. Into another straight edge stretch. You've got to be kidding me, this kid. Speaking of straight edge, I think that uh, Corey Lee and Ryan Harris are the only two straight edge sure? superstars on the roster. Well, I'd have to disagree with you there. Break the hole, is uh, Justin Cole. Because Ryan does not claim straight edge. Because he thinks that's kind of gay. Kinda, besides CM Punk. No. <laughs> I would I would say running around and saying, "Hey, I'm Swanton. <laughs> hey, I'm straight edge. Look at me. That's kind of dumb." But it is a good life choice. So I take back what I just say. I'm gonna cut out that last part. <laughs> uh, here we go. Slow paced action here. Like oh, sort of rip ah. the groins. Hey, none of that. Look at that ass. Mm. Oh, it's gone. Lining him up. Oh! oh. And he was just TFT'd oh in mid-air. Two, three. Three count. Three Rob Slater pulls off a victory. And in Rob Slater fashion. What? Can you explain to me what that last move was? Yeah, I believe he was going for the his his version of the crossroads, which is the triple sobriety, and he was caught in midair into a TFT by Rob Slater. Oh wow! The man is a, a very very brainy person. Brainy. He has an unorthodox style. But it works. So did guys it's like Stone Cold and John Cena. And I believe John Cena duct taped Batista's feet. Stone Cold was fucking PG. the most over person in wrestling history. Indeed. And Rob Slater winning matches the way he wins matches. The right way. Here's your main event. Of the Rugged evening. Ryan Harris versus Cena. <laughs> <and Chris Brown. laughs> Self proclaimed Rugged. He's not rugged with that shirt. I'll tell you that. He's righteous, Ryan Harris, man. Mm. <laughs> Yummers. Shaking hands with the referee. This is a non title match, by the way. He's a tough competitor. That he is. Only the best that backyard wrestling has ever had to offer. In the history. And given Ryan Harris his, I believe this is his first main event spot. Now he may have main event with Justin Parsley. Okay. But Chris Jones claims that he makes stars. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oops. And he, Ryan had a chance to get away, but Chris quicker than Ryan. To the hammer lock, going to a. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Dropped it right on his head. Oh! And he takes a page out of Chris Jones' book. Yeah. Stomp in oh. the midsection. Oh. Working on the body of Chris Jones. Chris Jones has a major opportunity One, here to work two, on two, Ryan's two. thighs. 
<laughs> to be the largest target on his body. Very vicious European uppercut. Another soft in the midsection. <laughs> blow, blow by Chris Jones. Whoa, 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 blow, blow. What? I slipped. I fell up. How do you fall up? I will say he does give the best low blows. <laughs> Brian Harris gets him back with another nut shot. And a <laughs> modified famouser. One, two, two count. Oh, this is a good match so far. Butterfly suplex. I talked to Ryan uh, Harris after this match and he said when he went for that butterfly suplex, Chris Jones' knee hit him right in the nuts. Which is appropriate for for you for this to be a part of. Yep. Are you sure? A Ryan Tamer. <laughs> Like a little bitch that he is. He goes for it. One, so one two. Is not schoolboy. Nope. <laughs> one, two. And a Mel Mocky. Pretty fast paced action so far. I know Corey Lee and Rob Slater. I am better than Utopia. <laughs> Try something back here. Hammer lock uh, uh, right here. Uh, Trips him down. Takes out a parcel of books. Uh, to a front face lock. Partially invents a lot of stuff. <laughs> God, Ryan has an awesome ass. DDT. <laughs> Very vicious kick to the uh, side of Chris Jones. A botch and just close the leaf. And there you go. Let me fix this up. Still DQ himself. If he was Ryan Cordero, he would have. Are you sure? Oh, into Ryan Harris. <laughs> Very uh, Chris Jones like thing to do. The referee is a weapon. The referee doesn't make his way back up. Still in the aftermath, going into shock. See the Chris Jones with the Russian leg sweep. <laughs> Vintage Chris Jones here. Go for a garden stop. Knee. Stop him midway. Working on that knee. Ryan Harris does leg. not want that move. Ah. Ah. Pleading and begging, but Chris Jones just not listening. Ask if he tapped. Yep. Ah. Ah. Chris Jones <laughs> takes a bite out of Ryan's knee. I talked to Chris Jones after this match. He said that was delicious. Probably was going for the thigh. He's not a leg man. I wish you could have seen the impact of that move. One, two, two count. Two. Ryan Harris uh, is very resilient. Two. That he is. Are you serious? Two. Can you count? Yeah, I can count. One, two. Oh wait, there's no three because he kicked out. It was a three. One, two. Oh wait, he kicked oh, out. Chris Jones needs a sign oh. for a job with the board of oh. officiating. Always has a problem with the referee. Oh, He's counting to his liking. Oh. And an STF. You. Ah! Uh, uh, no. Uh, no. Going for its finisher. Cattle mutilation. Uh, 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 uh,
I don't Here, give. Chris Jones, I think you're not give up. And Chris Jones is powering out. Forces Ryan to his feet. Chris Jones going for a stunner. Anything he can do, anything he can do to break up the hold. Very smart move on his part. Car alarm going off. <laughs> and stops. Jones wall I've never seen. I don't know if it, I don't know if it got broken down. Broke down the walls of Jones. Maybe it was in Berlin. <laughs> Mr. Orbachek, tear down that wall. Vintage backbreaker by Chris Jones. Definitely was vintage. One. Chris Jones needs to down. follow up on that. Two. He hurt his knee. <laughs> Ryan Harris making face. Three. <laughs> Wonderful face. Uh, four. <laughs> I think he may have he may have shit his pants <laughs> at that point. Five. He was working on it at least. <laughs> Pushing it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> can't beat me. I'm the champ. Oh, oh. a backbreaker. Oh. It's actually a backstabber. Uh, might be. One, two. Vintage count there by Andy. Two count. <laughs> this is me. Stiff European up ahead. Someone's phone's going off. Might be mine. I don't know. He's going for that surfboard. A modified version of the surfboard. I talked to uh, Ryan after this match, and I asked him. Shade the Billy Rock. <laughs> I asked Ryan Harris. I said, "Why do you not like to bring him all the way up?" And he told me that he believes that it's more effective. I believe he has more leverage that way to keep because it brings you know it hurts. Absolutely. It hurts more. I've been in that move. It hurts more when you're located on the ground. You're right. It's tearing at the quadricep muscles. It's it's pulling and putting a lot of strain on all the muscles in the arms and legs. Right, as, as well as up the in back. the air, he, right. Uh, He'd be just rested in the air. So Ryan Harris, I do like the tactical style he uses for his version of the surfboard. Face plant, drop kick. Into Ryan Harris. One, two, <laughs> two count. Gabriel's 450 splash is vintage, so is that. Indeed. Thriving in pain. Ryan Harris is really taking it to him in this match. Quite some damage on his knees. I rake. Chris Jones using whatever he can to get out of the position he was in. Super kick. One, two, one, three, two. That was a three. three. Chris Jones defeating the legacy champion Ryan Harris. Ryan Harris second loss handed to him, and he's quite. He's, he's going. He's on the downhill streak right now. He is. Once you go to the top, there's only one way back there. Once, once you pop the can stop. I mean, like, pop your collar, you just walk out. So I would say, though, that Ryan Harris, being a new guy in this company, took Chris Jones to the limit. And not many people have done it. Ah. <laughs> you that on your own? I did. Was that words of Chris Jones? <laughs> Get get together. God, Ryan Harris is a dusty son of a bitch. Well, we know you had a sit-down interview with Chris Jones. I did. God, he is dusty. One hell of a main event. Man. He is still, still the champion. champion. That's all he's worried about. All right, tune in next week for UIW Crazy Street. I am pure greatness, Momo. Do you understand how great I am? Do you understand how good I am? Uh, how good I am and how I went out there and I lost to Stephen Harder two weeks in a row? How does that happen, Mel? How does it happen? You see, you're a celebrity like me. You're getting visitors at the house all the time. You got drug dealers, girlfriends, ex-girlfriends. It's fucking stupid. I don't, I don't even get the point of it. What's up?
Remember me? Next week, I want you. Oh, oh. 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 oh.